Tell me how this works exactly, this trust. Well, basically, they're going to create an ETF. So the, the Winklevi have a bunch of Bitcoins, like $20 million worth of Bitcoins. They're going to put them into a trust. The trust is going to issue shares back to them that they will list, that they are listing with the SEC. And, okay. and if the SEC gives approval, they'll be listed on an exchange, and you too will be able to invest in Bitcoins. So why not just invest in Bitcoins themselves? Why would you invest in this trust? Well, that's a very good question. And in fact, I think that there's some real issues about about how well the trust will track the price of bitcoins. You know, we've seen ETF tracking error in assets that are very well traded, like high yield bonds and foreign stocks recently, where the price of the ETF share Tracks. got out of line with the NAV of the basket of securities that was holding. Hmm. Now, so, and that's because there are some tech, it, it's a very awkward process okay. how, how you make an ETF, but there's some awkward plumbing involved. And if you don't have very, very liquid securities in the basket that the ETF holds, you can have these price disparities arise. Well, of course, with Bitcoins, it could really be over the top. In terms oh yeah! Of the price disparity. I mean, we've already seen the huge volatility uh, right. with Bitcoin, with the value itself. So, right. why would why would anybody want to invest in this? Well, you know, frankly, I'm, you could argue that hey, it's like investing in gold. It's like investing in other basket ETFs that hold currencies. I have, you know, it, what the VCs like to say about this is, which do you trust more, the government or mathematics? <laughs> <laughs> and in this case. Well, and this guy, I'd, I'd go with, with what you said before. If you like digital currencies, which I don't hate the idea of, going directly into Bitcoin makes more, a lot more sense to me than going into, into an trust. ETF that holds Bitcoin. Okay, so uh, you've read through the prospectus that was filed with the SEC. And yeah. Uh, and w there are some highlights. I, I have to say that if you're bored over the 4th of July holiday <laughs> and you want some comic reading in the financial industry, of which there isn't a lot, <laughs> this prospectus would qualify. Really? Uh, yeah, there's some really remarkable risk factors. You know, these risk factors sections go on and on, and they right. list everything you can but, imagine. Uh, but aren't those risk factors generally pretty standard? Yes, they're pretty standard. Okay. This has some really novel ones. Uh, my favorite one, though, is it may be illegal now or in the future to acquire, hold, or sell bitcoins, and ownership of or holding and trading in the shares, that is of the ETF, may also be considered illegal and subject to sanctions. Now, really? Yeah. So I've been a lawyer a long time. I've read a lot of prospectuses. I've never seen it may be criminal to invest <laughs> in the risk factors before. Well, I, I'm sure that, well, I mean, and that's just because they think, that's just because it's a warning that Bitcoin Bitcoins might be illegal at one day? Yeah, the, the gov a lot of governments haven't figured out how they feel about okay. this digital currency <laughs> thing as opposed to their own fiat currencies. So have you seen something like this before? Uh, an ETF like this? Yes. I've never seen anything like this before, no. And, and, you know, in a way, I think it's a shame for Bitcoin itself because I, I think that the idea of these digital currencies, I actually believe will catch on even more than they already have. This Why? Bitcoin Why do you is believe that? Well, because I do think that a lot of people are suspicious of central banks that can print money. One of the nice things about Bitcoin is there is no Bernanke. There is no, no ability to suddenly j jack up the pace at which Bitcoins are produced. They are produced in but a very... But isn't that the controlled. downside is that there's a finite number... Well, of, of it, Bitcoins out there. It, it's actually not funny. It does grow over time, but it grows oh. according to a predetermined rate that is understandable and immutable.